hey, this is Philip, and this is my Module 7 reflection. Uh, so, with online learning, um, do you think it's appropriate for students to complete online learning? What parameters? Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely appropriate with um, kind of the age that we live in. You know, when I was in high school, we didn't barely had a computer lab, and now uh, some of my employees are high school kids, and they're already, you know, they've already, and one girl, she's going to go to, she's a senior this year, and she's already completed college credits, and that's just amazing to me, and, you know, why not, you know, I'm completing my free, you know, uh, online learning from, as you can see, my comfort of my own living room, so, um, definitely should be some parameters, there needs to be, just like with any um, education, really, just making sure that it's kind of, I wouldn't say standardized, it seems like a taboo word, but just, so it's not getting overwhelming, um, so I think everybody's just in such a hurry to grow up, and just such a hurry to get into the real world, and yeah, just take it slow, you know, it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be, so, um, but I think it's definitely appropriate. There's there's so many advantages. You can get out so much more information, and you know, just I just think now, like had it had it been this way when I was younger, I feel like I'd have been a lot more successful. So, um, as far as every state requiring students to complete an online course prior to the high school graduation, I don't know about a requirement necessarily, but maybe push for it. Um, Definitely steer like the honors kids or the kids that you, you know, the, the high performers, try to steer them in that direction. Um, you know, at first, and build it out to where maybe it's not a requirement necessarily, but it's building towards that. So that, you know, even like the kids in the middle of the road or even the kids that struggle, um, you know, it might actually help those kids that struggle. Help um, them out a little bit. You know, because you'd be amazed what some of these kids could do with the computer. Um, so, yeah, it's, I think it's, it's definitely helpful, but it required a lot of, I don't know, at this point. Um, not completely sold on that. <coughs> um, and any experiences, learning management, systems, LMS? Um, you know, of course, Blackboard. Um, never really had anything else like we have. Um, something at work that's kind of similar, LTMP, Learning Talent Management Portal. It's where all of our, like, kind of online learning modules are. Um, it's pretty basic, though. Um, the main thing that I use it for is to track, um, like, the completion percentage of for, for employees, and especially new employees, and, like, any legal, like, learnings, e-learnings is what we call them now. Any of those that come down, those need to be completed ASAP, so we can't, can't be in non compliance with those. Um, I chose Google Classroom. I um, chose this just because I really feel like after you know, the module on Google and kind of talking about like maybe becoming certified, I feel like that could be the difference. You know, and a lot of my classes now, you know, Google Docs is amazing. I don't know how I got by without it before, and just, you know, I think. Um, I liked it. Um, I think it would be really awesome. It just took a little while to figure it out. I was trying to like it, you know, just like with anything, just takes a little while to get used to it, figure out how to do stuff on it. Um, but I think once you spent some time with it, like if I had my own classroom, I had, you know, like the whole summer, and I had, you know, other teachers to collaborate with, and, you know, I had. We could stay late and work on all weekends and do stuff where I had. Or, you know, I just had that year's experience built it up. Like, I know that my wife teach in her first year, she just felt lost, but then she had the stuff from the previous year. And now she's in her third year and she has the stuff from the previous two years. Um, and, like, one of the ladies she stood taught with had been doing this for like 30 years, just accumulating 30 years of stuff. Um, so I think that would make a huge difference from, like, the getting better from after year one. I think this you just got it right. You just like that first year is probably always a struggle. 
and then you're able to move on and you have time, you're able to tweak it and see what worked and what didn't work. And you don't have to go back and redo the whole lesson. It's already there. You can go in and just make it better. Um, so, um, yeah, I would definitely use all this Google, you know, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Classroom. <coughs> uh, like I said, I think I would have one class that was completely on Google. Um, I would set a couple, and they seem, they seem pretty cool. It seems like it's cool to not have to buy the textbook. It's, it's pretty cool to have all the info right there. Um, you know, be able to converse. And, so it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cutting edge. It's pretty, um, you know, and I like, I like the, the convenience of the living room. You know, like, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, who would have thought this, you know, 20 years ago would be doing my homework, sitting in my living room. But, you know, that's kind of, kind of where we're heading. Um, why not? You know, like, even if, you know, if somebody had to stay home for whatever reason, you can still do your homework up on there, you know, because even if you were sick, you know, you could probably still do your homework up. So, um, that's all I have. I'll just say, sure, thanks.